Hi, this is David Raffoff. Uh, this is a series I'm going to be doing on um, writing some Ruby, some test-driven Ruby, and uh, using it to write a, a game with Gosu. Uh, so I really I use Ruby every day for work, and I really like the language. Um, and Gosu is just this cool little uh, uh, cool little gem that you can use to uh, make it easy for you to do some simple game development. Um, probably going to be doing a, just a really simple kind of 2D game for this. Um, but anyway, uh, it's, it's pretty minimal. Basically, it just gives you access to um, a window object uh, that you can use to uh, display graphics and uh, play sounds and uh, print out text and all that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know exactly what kind of 2D game I'm going to be making quite yet. Um, I'll try to update... Uh, the description in this video to make it a little more clear as we go through things, but um, we're gonna try to limit these to probably about uh, around 30 minutes, may run a little longer sometimes. Um, but yeah, basically, just want to go through a project kind of from uh, start uh, to finish as, uh, as I would normally work on something. Um, so, I think this one's gonna be probably just a lot of um, kind of setup to get going. Uh, I want to get some tools in place first before really trying to do too much. Um, and they'll probably even add some tooling kind of as we go along to to make it uh, a little bit nicer as we go. So, um, so yeah, let's just uh, jump into it here. So I'm going to clear my screen real quick. And uh, <clears throat> I, I'm on a, a Mac here on a OS X. I'm going to directory that has uh, nothing in it at this point and I'm just gonna go ahead and make a git repository here so I'll just do git init dot and uh, basically that's just setting up a version control so as we work on things we can check them in and uh, have a nice little history of the changes as we go um, so if I take a look again we'll see there's a little dot git folder in here. Uh, I'm going to be using Atom as my editor. Um, so I actually have another project I've done in Gosu that I'll probably reference as uh, we go through this to kind of make it uh, make things go along a little bit more smoothly but um, but yeah you can see here I've got a uh, Atom uh, window open. I, f I find it's a pretty good editor. I know it's kind of a personal decision um, but uh, I like some of the tools that are available for uh, Ruby and Atom, and we'll, we'll get into those as we go. But the, so the, I, the first thing I need to do is pick a version of Ruby. Uh, so I use RBENV, and I'm just going to do a versions for that and see what we have available. I think the um, most recent one I've been using is 2.2.2. Uh, so I'm just going to make a Ruby version file. Um, and that'll just set the version of Ruby that we use for the project. So <clears throat> RBNV will just pick up on uh, the Ruby version file. And then I think we just put the exact version in here real quick. And then basically when you change into this directory, it's smart enough to know uh, that you want to use that version of Ruby. Um, so let's see, RBNV. And there we go, showing our current version is 2.2.2. Um, so I think we're looking good there. And you notice I've got a little uh, indicator on my command line there to show that um, there have been changes to the repo so you can see our Ruby version's not checked in yet. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and do make that our first commit, just something nice and small and easy. So I'm um, just gonna say set the Ruby version with a dot Ruby version. And, oh, oops, forgot the commit. Oh, and it's on track, so I'm gonna edit. Okay, there we go. So, uh, Another tool I use is just kind of nice. You could just do git log, I guess, but um, 
I use a tool called TIG that's kind of nice that shows you that you kind of browse the changes. So anyway, that's our, our first commit, super basic. It's about as easy as it gets. Um, so the next thing uh, I want to do is probably go ahead and pull down, um, set up a gem file and pull down um, Gosu for this project, do the bundle for that. So let's just add a gem file. And I'm gonna use this other project that I already have open. I'll just take a quick look. It, um, how I'm including that. Okay, so it looks like for now, um, looks like the way I did it here was just to include it directly. Um, so yeah, we could do that. Um, although I kind of like the idea of just including it uh, in our in a gem file. So. Um, Okay, uh, so I'm back, sorry, had a little uh, recording snafu there. So um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and try to do this as a gem. So let's do gem gosu, and let's just try to bundle that um, and see if that works. copy that so I was I was missing the uh, source for all the gems so I just need to throw that in the top of my gem file real quick and forget some of these things starting projects from uh, scratch don't get to do that every day so anyway um, getting back to it here so run a bundle so it's it's going and grabbing the uh, ghost gem and it should take a minute for that to pull down. Okay, so it looks like that worked. And uh, another thing I want to add is I want to get RSpec in here. Uh, I'm going to use that for uh, testing. So I'm going to go ahead and just uh, bundle that as well. Okay, so we're good there. And I'm gonna go ahead and make a commit for this. I know it's something small, but um, just kind of get these small things out of the way here. So add a gem for Gosu and for our spec. Oh, and oops, I need to get those added first. All right, so uh, we got all of our stuff checked in, and um, let's see. So we could just start with um, writing. Let's just make a. Um, let's see. So I'm trying to figure out if I want to start by. Uh, truly uh, test driving this, in which case we would go ahead and make our specs first and just uh, write what we want to happen and have those fail. Or if I just want to get something uh, super basic uh, going with Gosu hooked up um, and um, 
and then start adding some tests from there. Uh, but yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and just give uh, test driving this uh, a shot uh, from the beginning here. So um, yeah, let's let's go that route. Okay, uh, so I'm uh, back here. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, move forward with uh, doing the uh, test-driven approach here. Uh, it's been a little bit since I've set up uh, RSpec from scratch, so I'm probably going to have to play around with it uh, a little bit. But uh, I think the general idea is we want to make a folder here for our specs, and um, we will want to make a new file in here. And uh, for now, let's just call it um, a game, I guess. Oh, we want that to be our game spec. So now we have our game spec in here. Um, so there's some things we're going to want to include uh, in order to do this, but for now, let's just go ahead and do um, describe game do and then let's describe um, let's see so we could do we could do uh, anything we wanted here let's just for now let's just uh, do name um, so we want to be able to say game, uh, let's say it uh, returns a default name of game. <clears throat> and then we'll do expect game dot new dot name dot to equal and then we'll just say game uh, and this is just just to get something going um, so uh, f just for this example here I'm just going to come out and do um, R spec for specs game spec okay so um, it's complaining, it's saying uninitialized constant game, uh, and we would expect that. Um, so here I'm trying to reference a class it, it doesn't know about, that doesn't exist. Uh, so, um, and, and this is in the spirit of test driving this, so now it's gonna force me um, to come over here and make a game class. So I'm just gonna call that game.rb, and we will just make a class called, actually, yeah, let's do that. Make a class called game and it will do nothing and uh, the idea here is we just want to get past this first basic failure which is uninitialized constant game uh, so we'll see if that does it for us so and again we're getting um, uninitialized constant game and um, this is because it still doesn't know about the presence of this uh, this file here so a uh, typical kind of convention uh, with our spec is you make a spec helper and that can be responsible for doing some of the setup work. Um, so I'm going to make a spec helper and in this um, I'm going to do require relative and we'll do dot dot slash game dot rb. And what that's doing is it's loading um, this game class here. And uh, then I'll go ahead and come over here. And at the top of this file, we'll just do require uh, spec helper. Probably don't need the RB on the other one. I think it's smart enough to figure that out. Um, so let's just try this again and see if that does it. It may still not be exactly right. Okay, so uh, let's see. Cannot load such files, spec helpers. So I didn't like that. I'm just going to cheat real quick and look at this list. 
here we'll get this uh this example over here just to see how it's pulling it in so what is it complaining about saying cannot load such file spec helper um, and maybe I need to do so I'm just doing a require spec helper Okay. Um, yeah, so let me give that one more shot. So I'm still not sure why it's complaining about that. Um, the, the example I've I'm looking at it's uh, it seems like it's smart enough to look in the um, current directory for that. Uh, which is kind of the normal setup. So let me um, let me just try that. Okay, so it's still complaining. Okay, so uh, what is it saying now? Cannot load such file game spec load error. Okay. Uh, all right, so we're back on track here. Sorry, I just had a uh, path name that was incorrect there. Um, so now we're getting a complaint that it can't find the method name for game. Uh, and we would expect that because um, there's no method uh, name for game here. So uh, just for the sake of getting this passing here, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, throw in Gosu as a default for this, and then we'll we'll uh, run this. And it's saying that it expected game to be the default name and got Gosu, which is actually um, a game is what we want it to be. So I'll just go ahead and change that to game. And then now we can see um, we've got that one spec passing and we have this simple class set up. Uh, another thing I'm going to try to is um, I have a plugin that will automatically run the specs, um, but it, it, I think it's expecting some conventions to be in place and I don't know uh, how it's going to work um, 
if, if the convention is going to be correct currently, but let me just give it a shot. Okay, so it's saying can't connect to master. Um, and this is because I had this configured to run um, with Zeus uh, for a different project. So let me just update that for now. Uh, so I'm using this uh, RSpec package here, and <clears throat> you can see here I have a different um, default command set up, so I'm just going to change that back to RSpec for now. Uh, if you haven't used Zeus before, it's a pretty cool uh, tool that just preloads your app in case you have a, a lot, if you have a lot of setup time and starting your app or starting the development version or the test version, it can just speed up a lot of that for you. Um, but I'm going to close this out. Just close this pane there. And let's just try that again. I'm still not sure if it's going to run because I don't think the convention is correct. Yeah, it's not finding uh, any examples. So one thing I'm going to try is I might try moving this to a lib folder. So basically, it's, I think what it's doing is it's looking for a parallel structure between the code and the specs. Um, so what I'm going to try doing is just moving this game class up into the lib folder. It's actually not wanting to move things around. Um, so actually, I'm going to pause this for a second, and I'll, I'll just be right back. Okay, so um, I just did some really uh, boring shuffling around of files here, but um, basically what I needed to do was uh, create this lib folder here, and I uh, just went ahead through this super basic class in here, and then um, just set up a parallel structure under the spec folder. So uh, within spec, you can see I also have a lib, and then a matching uh, game underscore spec. Um, so if I run, run my spec again from here, you can see it's still working. Um, also had to adjust some of the um, relative or the uh, require paths. So um, updated uh, this to, to look down a directory for the spec helper and then uh, <laughs> have the uh, spec look uh, into the lib folder um, for uh, the game class. So um, anyway, should be good with that. And then I'm gonna see if running the specs from here again works or not. Uh, looks like it's still not smart enough to pick up uh, that structure. So I'm gonna have to play around with that a little bit, but uh, we could at least run them from the command line for now. Um, so yeah, we have a super basic class set up and uh, we got our spec wired in. Um, let's see uh, if we can't go ahead and just get some uh, basic or actually let's go ahead and check this in it's probably a good point to do this So uh, we move the classes, the class into the lib folder, we made a <clears throat> parallel spec folder structure. Okay, that's all checked in. Uh, the other thing we could do really quick too is make a new repository for this. Um, so I'm going to call this, uh, let's see, screencast for uh, Ruby game, I guess. Um, 
So let me just make a new repository here. And I'm going to leave this public and I'm going to call this uh, um, screencast or gosu. Just call it Gosu tutorial for now. This is going to be a Ruby uh, TDD and 2D Gosu game tutorial. Okay. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and do create repository on this. And um, so we have an existing repository here. So what I want to do is I just want to set uh, my GitHub repo as the remote for this. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, paste this in here. And this is just going to point. Um, it's going to add uh, GitHub uh, as origin on this. So I can push changes up to there. So that's done. And then now I'm going to uh, use the second command they have here, which is the standard push. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to show me down here what it's doing as it goes through that. So it, yeah, it's just saying it's pushing up to that new uh, repo that we made. And it's uh, by default, it just has the master branch. So it's pushing from my local master to the remote master. And then if we hop back in here, we should actually see uh, the basic code showing up in here. Um, and I think for now, um, for getting started with this, we'll probably just work in master until we get just a basic window launched and uh, the, just get the super basics in there. But it's actually good practice to not uh, work off your master branch. So I'll probably start um, either making a development branch or like feature specific branches um, for each of the sessions once we get past kind of the initial um, initial hurdles of just kind of getting the project up and running. Um, so yeah, let's take a quick look here and uh, see what's involved in just getting the basic um, the basic window set up. So the way Gosu works is it just makes this window object available for you, uh, and it has a game loop. So it does a update uh, call and a draw call, and then it does a couple calls to to gather input um, in order to do that. Um, and then yeah, it just does that. I think by default it does it uh, sixty times a second. Um, so I'm just gonna take a quick look at uh, the Ruby tutorial. And uh, the documentation is pretty good. It's a little weird. Some of it's uh, some of it's on GitHub, but there's actually a link out uh, somewhere else. I have to find it um, that is a little more involved, uh, and that actually documents all the uh, all the classes and methods and everything, which we will need. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty much going to just copy this thing here, um, and just kind of call it game for now, I'll probably switch it up. Um, and I'll just pull this up here, probably get rid of this, um, but uh, just for now, just get that up there. And uh, what, what this is doing is it's just setting up, um, I'm gonna call this game, for the purpose of this, just to keep it, uh, the same name as the file and everything. But um, yeah, it's just pulling in Gosu. Um, it's inheriting from the Gosu window class. Um, and that uh, takes a, basically a screen size and you can pass in some other parameters if you want to. Um, and that's just gonna fire up the, uh, the game window. And um, down here, it's just uh, in the same file. It's just going ahead and actually calling um, and creating a new instance of that um, 
class that's defined above, and then it, and the window dot show will actually uh, force the window to uh, appear. So uh, I'm just going to run that from the uh, command line here real quick. So let's go ahead and just do a Ruby for lib game dot rb. And you can see this is just given us um, a window that is uh, 640 by 480. And then we can see up here the title in this is the uh, Gosu uh, tutorial game. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and close this. There's really nothing we can do with it right now, but you notice like as we go over it, it's capturing input, like my mouse is disappearing. So, um, so anyway, let's just go ahead and close that out. Um, I'm kind of curious too if we run our specs, what it's going to do now. It's, not, it's probably not going to like it, but uh, let's just give it a shot here real quick. Yeah, so our spec is uh, requiring this file, and this file is um, actually going ahead and firing off a new window and, and uh, stopping execution of anything else probably. So I'm just going to go ahead and close that. But uh, it looks like it was actually able to run that spec. So um, for now, let's just comment these out. I don't really want uh, this class to be um, <clears throat> to be actually loading the game quite yet. So let's just do this. Let's do this again. Okay. So kind of off the bat, there's some things uh, I'm not crazy about here. Uh, but before we really get into any of that, um, let's test drive this. So instead of making the changes in here, let's just go uh, over to our spec. So we have some methods we're going to be responding to. So let's just go ahead and put those in here. So um, so we have a draw. And we have an update. What else do we have? <clears throat> Draw and update and initialize. And let's go ahead and move the initialize one up here. So um, let's just do a really simple thing. So we can say, I'm actually going to change this from initialize to new because new is actually the call we use. So um, let's say returns a game. object and so we can say expect game dot new dot uh, to I'm trying to remember uh, to be instance of uh, I have a terrible memory by the way so um, I'll probably be doing all kinds of um, uh, searching as we're doing this. So um, I think it's probably going to complain, but let's try this. Okay, so that worked. And just out of curiosity too, let's see if it is an instance of Gosu uh, window, which it should be. I don't know how it'll treat that. Let's give it a shot.
Okay, well, I'll look into that one more later. I'm not sure if it's um, complaining because it doesn't know about Gosu Window or if it won't get the inherited type. Uh, so anyway, um, so let's make use of this game spec. So uh, we're going to leave the behavior the same in the spec, but over here, instead of setting a caption to be this thing, let's just set it to name. And then if we if we want to tweak what it is, we could just move it here. So you can just call a game window caption or something. And that'll break our spec because uh, that value's changed. So we'll hop back over here. And uh, instead of just having game, let's just, um, let's just say it returns a default name. We don't really care uh, in the description of that what it is. And what do we call that? Game window caption. So that should make that pass. And then actually, let's just call it caption. So again, we'll just watch the spec break. Uh, and then I'm actually complaining because captions are already defined, but we'll see. Yeah, so I didn't like that. Oh, actually, it's complaining about this call. But yeah, I think it's not going to like that because it's defined already. Yeah, okay. Well, there we go. And so one thing I don't like here is let's move this up to call game.new on this line and then we can just say game.caption there. Just clean that up a little bit. Okay, so yeah. Um, okay, so yeah, at this point we uh, we have brought Gosu in, we've set up our spec, and uh, we've got a Git repo going that's hosted on uh, GitHub. Uh, we have some really basic specs in place, and we can load the um, the Gosu window. Um, so I think we're in a pretty good stopping point for just kind of the initial basic setup for getting going. Um, it's probably not the most exciting thing if you're uh, familiar with Ruby and you've uh, um, done a lot of uh, testing, but I just kind of wanted to go through some of those initial steps in case uh, this is a little new to you or in, maybe this is the first time um, you're doing this kind of thing outside of like a Rails project um, where uh, a lot of this is kind of uh, uh, can be set up uh, kind of by default for you. Um, but yeah, also if you have thoughts on uh, any specific kind of uh, 2D game you want to see or um, if there's anything that you want me to expand on that I've covered or maybe get into that I didn't cover yet, um, you know, leave comments in the video. Um, I have a few different ideas on what might be just kind of a fun 2D game. Um, and I don't think it really matters which, which direction we go. I think we'll hit a lot of the same kind of concepts uh, along the way. Um, so anyway, uh, I'll be looking for suggestions on that, but uh, I do have a couple things in mind if I if, uh, don't get any suggestions for, for what to do. But anyway, thanks for watching, and um, yeah, look for more videos in this series to come. Um, this one ran a little long, I think it was about 40, 30 or 40 minutes, but um, yeah, I'm going to try and keep them at half an hour just because it'll make it easier for me to commit to doing them on a regular basis. But um, but anyway, I uh, look forward to doing more of these and I uh, hope it was helpful.